Hey guys, it's Steel's Game here, and we're gonna play it the Stanley Parable. It's loading. Yeah, load. It's taking forever to load. I forgot to turn the sky off. Shit. I'll be back in a second. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Wow. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Well, Stanley, your life seems very boring. I'm not sure All how. of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, so we gotta go to the meeting room, do we? Wait, let's have a look in this room. No what? matter. Um, audio. Um, sound quality. Let's have a medium. Oh, wait, let's do this. Can we turn this down? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay, so we can't find a trace of my co-workers, so... I click... Oop! I stand on the Oh yeah! I can get on the desk! I can be a rebel! Oh god, get up there now. Um... Yep, stop. Yep, yeah! I rule this place, I'm on top of this desk, boy! Woo! Okay, let's go. What happens if we go in and out? There you go. Ooh. Ooh, two doors. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um, hmm. We gonna go with what the narrator guy's saying, or are we gonna go right? Let's go right! <laughs> Whoop, like. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Let's just admire it. Why not? Let's head to mail it. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. What? A dollar and twenty-five cents for a freaking Coke or a cold drink? No way! Yes. 
really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Yeah, it's worth it, my man. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nah, going straight ahead, some rebel. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> that describes me. Do not jump from this cargo elite. It may cause it. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. <laughs> well, Everyone thinks you are very powerful. I'm already dead. That is the biggest fail in the world. So back at the start, I guess. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. Haha, <laughs> Jaden. Stanley wants to go outside, why can't he just go out the front door? This game is interesting. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, right he entered time. the door on his left. So, what's in... oh. Go in there. Ah, okay. So what's meeting room? Ah, oh, where's my people? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Smiley fish. What's on the boards. Profit, profit, profit. Cool. I'm a post-it. Help me. To do. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Stanley stepped into right, the broom here. closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I've heard of this place. If we stay here for a while, he keeps saying stuff, which is, it gets really funny. There was nothing here. No but choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No I reason to still be here. Mr. Narit, I will find what is the secret of this room. To be me. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. F.A.? What was that? What was that saying? S.S.? Are you... Are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Um, my explanation is I want to stand around and do absolutely nothing. Yeah! <laughs> you do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? Yes, if I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me, because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I yeah. never would have thought to mention it. That was boring. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Uh, okay, I'll go upstairs. Uh, just wait up for a sec. Get back. Oh, this must be my boss's office. It's a lot. Oh, bathroom. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's his office. What's in here? Stepping oh, into his manager's see. office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy. 
so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Oh, music, yay. Hopefully I can't get copyrights off this music. Oh. Feeling soothed oh. and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. I'm ah. Okay, that scared me. That was really loud. Loading. 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 Why is this taking oh, there we Descending are. deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. What can we find down here? Ooh, red button. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind oh. Control Facility. Okay. Oh, oh wait. Okay. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent oh, wait, death. Wait, what? Okay, no, I'm going back that way. Why is that noise? But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Yes, I do have too much to live for. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a dark room. What does this do? The lights rose on an Whoa. enormous room packed with television screens. What oh. horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I remember this. This is... I watched someone... Oh no. no. This is where I found the Easter egg thing. This is right. Now the monitors jumped to life. Oh my Their God. true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Wow. It's a lot of people. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Okay, so what we do is... Oh, he got fired. <laughs> Gotta wait here for about maybe... Might have been like a minute, but we just gotta wait until these doors open. Which they do eventually, and then we can get over there and something awesome happens. I won't spoil it until we get over there. Come on, open doors. Fired. Let's see what that says over there. There we go. Yeah, I have played this a little bit before and I I just randomly found this history. Let's see what that says. I can't read it though. Okay, this is awesome. This is the best I would have to say this is the best Easter egg in the world.
refuse to believe it. He That's couldn't accept it. <laughs> his own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Okay, there's another Easter egg here that I've got written down. Let's have to do it. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labelled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, so right now, I'm going to show you how to do another easter egg. Which I... I don't even know. I don't even remember. Oh yeah, this one I didn't find my... Is this one I didn't find myself, I actually just, I YouTube Easter eggs and I found this. But that last one, I just, I didn't even know how I managed to find that. I just went back around me and started pushing this button. So, this is how you do it, you gotta press on. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself, is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency oh, detonation no. system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desire. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes so off. Fun. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. Uh, I barely know oh, where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good oh, mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other By times, now, I let again. the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. Two, one, five, but I'm nine. sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. Two. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you say that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. 
It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Got it. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. Okay, now you got to come over here to humble. the red button. Then wait till that's on eight seconds. It's a tragedy. You want to control this world? That's fine. But I'm going to destroy it. Damn it! I pressed it too early. So you can't. And yet yeah, we failed. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Uh, well, Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Yeah, or we you failed. Go peacefully? Another choice? I Make thought it, it was on 8 seconds, but it wasn't. Don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Okay guys, so I'm gonna come back to when I've actually got that easter egg working properly because I did press it at the wrong time, so yeah, I'll come back to when I'm just about to press the red button, so yeah. Okay, hey guys, we're back, um, I've now got the, um, thing, I'm back to where we were before, um, yeah, I'll do it right this time, hopefully. So as, as I said before, you gotta come down here, see where it says system power. And when at last he found the source of the room's... Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time oh, to oh. shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moment Life. each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna oh. die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine, I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. Now this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 nice. seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, Green. screen to screen, clicking on Green. every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? But you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this? I gotta come out here. Ten? A hundred? A thousand? 
I look forward to finding Wait out and to watching the eight bomb seconds. drop each time you fail. Just you and me and the wretching explosion of fire and metal over and over and over for all of eternity. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. Ah, oh, I missed it again. I'm laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Fire. Okay, well you get the you get what you have to do. You have to get through all of there, type in uh you go to the buttons and put in four four five three four four five three two fifteen two fifteen three thirty two three thirty two and then you should and then that should give you the secret ending thing. Okay. Um, yeah. See you guys next time. And we would... I won't do any more Easter eggs next time, though. Okay. See you guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a nice day.